Hi, and welcome to today's episode of Piano TV. I'm your host, Alicia, and today I wanted to provide you five beginner level exercises for learning how to play with the metronome. These exercises are specifically tailored for people who've been playing like somewhere between the six months to two years ballpark. Although if you're like a really, I don't know, a really motivated beginner, you might be able to handle some of these too, as long as you can do like basic rhythm reading and note reading. There's a free PDF of all of the exercises that we talk about in this video. Just go in the description bar and that'll link you over to the blog, which is where the PDF is hosted. And then yeah, you can print it out and follow along. I find that many people struggle to play with the metronome. So I wanted to create a really simple set of exercises to learn how to start using the metronome. I don't know what it is. I think, actually I do know what it is. I think a lot of the time what people do is they will turn on the metronome when they're struggling in a piece, but then the piece they're doing is difficult. They're struggling with it so that they basically completely ignore the metronome and then they're not really like learning how to use it. And um, I see stuff like that happen in my studio a lot. So that's why I wanted to create this set. Anyway, we are going to get started. We are gonna hop right to the keyboard, spend the whole video at the keyboard today. And what I'll do is I'll play through each exercise so you can follow along and then we'll talk about the key learning points and stuff like that. Let's get to it. the simplest of all of them. I mean, that was kind of my idea to make them in stepwise difficulty. You're simply learning how to play eighth notes while the metronome is ticking a quarter note beat. So I had it at 110. I'm actually gonna slow it down to, let's do 90. We'll assume that you can already follow a quarter note beat like this. But if you haven't actually tried to do that, that would be a good place to start. To keep things really simple so that you can concentrate on these metronome ticks, we're gonna be playing simple five finger scales. That's all this is, this exercise. I wrote a few out, sorry, I keep turning that on. I wrote a few out on the sheet, but um, you could basically keep doing all 12 of them. Um, and if you want a list of all 12 pentascales, we've made a PDF and video on that. Um, definitely check that out. We'll have that linked over on the blog. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> I'll turn it on again. 90 is like a good walking pace. So what you wanna do with eighth notes is you wanna fit two of them in per tick. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Once we finish the eighth notes, um, I like to finish with this simple little cadence. We're going one, five, one. I like doing this when we're working with the metronome because then your brain is shifting back and forth from the eighth notes, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, to a quarter note beat. So you have to kind of keep adjusting and you can't just like zone out doing the same rhythm over and over. Like I said, this is a good exercise for working through all of the 12 major pentascales. And once you're really comfortable with this, you've played around with different tempos, it's time to move on to the next one. Our second exercise doesn't have any eighth notes. It's all quarter, half, and whole notes. It's a really simple bar top tune. Um, and just like the pentascales we did, it's using the exact same notes on the right and the left hand so that you have some brain space, brain space, uh, brain space free to concentrate on playing with the metronome. Now, I like to give my students simple tunes like this with, with a variety of different notes, like quarter and half notes for metronome practice. It needs to be easy enough so that you can actually hear that you're doing it right. So if it's too tough, what will happen is my students will turn on the metronome and then completely ignore it because they're so fixated on playing the notes properly. So again, 
This is really simple and I played it really slow. I'm pretty sure Bartok's original tempo marking was around 95, so that's what I put it at. Pay really close attention to your counting with the half notes. One, two, one, two. And try to align your playing really, really cleanly to the beat. Match it up as tightly as it, as it can. And once you feel like it's easy to follow the metronome at a slow speed, you can always try speeding up, up a little bit and see if you can still keep that clean, tight beat. Again, the goal with metronome work at this early stage is ease. This third exercise is from Baron's Opus 70 collection of easy exercises. And this one in particular is for training in 3-4 time signature. A lot of my students struggle with playing 3-4 time since it has such a different flow of the more regular 4-4 time. What I often hear with people playing in a 3-4 piece is they'll play it with a 4-4 beat. They'll leave an extra beat hanging around the bar line. So here's the piece again. This is what I'll often hear. Four, one, two, three, four. It's like they're inventing, like they're turning it into a 4-4 beat by adding like a little gap by the bar line. This is very, very common. Really check to make sure you are not one of these people doing this because you might be. To do this, I would set your metronome, whether it's online or offline, uh, to a 3-4 tempo. What you really want is a different sounding tick every time it gets back to the first beat. This is gonna help bring your attention to the start of the bar. Um, because if you get to a new bar and it doesn't line up with that louder tick, you'll know, like it'll correct you. You'll know you did something wrong. This exercise is a little more difficult than the first two because the notes aren't identical in both hands. The left hand is a little bit more independent. So learn how to play it first really slowly. And then once you can do it slow and steady, turn on that metronome and give it a go. exercises from Carl Cherney and it's all about playing 16th notes with the metronome. It's got a lot in common with the first exercise where we did the pentascales, but it's just the next layer of difficulty. What I would do with this one is play each bar in a loop as many times as you want to get hang of the rhythm. Now I, I did it twice each, but again you can do like each bar 10 times in a row, 20 times in a row, as long as you feel like until it starts getting comfortable. Okay, so how many, I'm going to turn this down to 60 beats per minute, I played it at 70. How many 16th notes fit inside each metronome tick? Four. Now this is harder to sync up with the metronome because there are just so many extra notes between the beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What I would do is start listening to the beat and count to four and see if you can match up your one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four with each tick. Once you feel confident with that, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can start playing. I also want to make a note that I didn't write in any of the fingering here, but um, the second bar is just a C major scale. If you're unsure about the fingering for a C major scale, we did an entire video on that, so you can check that out. One more to go. exercise is really more of like a little tune than an exercise. It's putting all of these concepts into practice, I guess except for the 16th notes. Now like the other exercises, it's also not super difficult because again, the point is to learn simple pieces so that you can devote all of your attention to the metronome. One thing I'm going to recommend to you, watch that you do not get overzealous with your eighth notes. One thing I hear my students do a lot is accelerate the eighth notes so that they sound chunky like almost like they're hunched, huddled together in groups of two. Eighth notes are faster, but say I have the metronome at 60 beats per minute. Um, they're faster, but they're not gonna be fast. Remember there's two eighth notes per beat. And you 
want to stretch out those notes so that they're not huddled together in chunks. Um, just watch, yeah, watch that you're not overshooting it. And sometimes with this one, you have each hand doing a different thing. And when you have each hand doing a different rhythm, it can mess up the metronome work. I think just because there's another thing to concentrate on. So make sure when you're learning this one, you can play it with reasonable competency before you even touch the metronome. Otherwise you're just, you're just gonna be asking for trouble. So there, now you can go hop over to the website, download the PDF and get working on the metronome. Once you can play these five exercises with ease, you can start upping your metronome game. But again, I didn't wanna, ooh, that was loud. I didn't want to overcomplicate things and make difficult, like we can do maybe intermediate level metronome work in a future video. But again, I wanted to keep this pretty, pretty basic for beginners. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Come visit me over on my social things, social things, as well as Patreon if you want. Catch you later. Man, these keys are, I haven't played on this piano for a while. These keys are dusty. Okay, I've got this one set to 70. Oh, it should not be three, four.